Hi, my name is O'Neill Clash, the inventor of the first transparent CPR mannequin, so you can see what goes on inside the body during resuscitation. I call it the future of CPR. See, I wanted to provide a training device that gives clear and immediate feedback when CPR is performed. I also thought it was very important to provide a robust chest mechanism capable of withstanding a high amount of force so the person in training can learn how to apply the correct amount of force to the weight and size of a body. We now know with the current guidelines that chest compressions are the most important skill in CPR. Another one of our measurements was to detect the correct depth and rate of chest compression. This was accurately done by using the computer metrodome. When compressing the chest at the correct depth, the heart will respond. When compressing the chest at the correct depth and rate, also allowing the chest to recoil, the heart and brain will respond simultaneously, a sign of perfusion. When chest compressions are no longer performed, the heart and brain will no longer respond. The mouth and nose piece is made from rubber silicone, which can be removed and easily cleaned. Right below the mouth and nose piece lies nose sensors that are able to detect the correct amount of pressure when pinching the nostrils. Also, there are breathing tubes with sensors that measures the amount of oxygen that flows to the lung. When giving breaths, it's very important to open up the airway properly, pinch the nose, and give enough volume in order to make the lungs to respond. However, if you don't pinch the nose, the air may escape through the nostrils. This mannequin gives a more realistic approach to giving breaths. Another unique feature, remote control, which can start and stop the heart rate start and stop breathing, and also make the heart and lungs work together simultaneously. The remote control can also simulate different heart rhythms, like ventricular fibrillation, SVT, and bradycardia. The remote control can also control the weight and size of the mannequin. Bag valve mask during two-person CPR, and also a pocket mask, but no sensors can be turned off. The power source. There's a lithium battery that lasts for two hours without charging. To recharge the battery, just plug into the power port next to the on and off button.